What's up, guys? This is the Roverman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Bavaria. So, to pick up where we left off, we have this force under Josef Edinburgh, who is advancing towards Stockholm to try and draw as many Swedish troops into combat as possible. And it has worked. Some more fragments of Swedish troops are in range to be destroyed, and we will do so. So, we're pushing on to Stockholm. We're going to do this methodically we're not going to sprint to put the city under siege because the city will get a reasonable garrison and it's likely that my because so this army is already bought to battle so we are probably going to be in not great shape to siege the city after this action so my idea would be to clear away as many swedish troops as possible then uh, advance but not attack and decide to uh, actually wait for reinforcements or my troops to be reconstituted but ultimately we have a bucket load of infantry I think we're going to generally be okay so I'm going to put all my regular line infantry together in a line as one does and I'm going to mass my elites on the right flank as a result I'm going to put the bulk of my cavalry on the left bulk quote-unquote not a huge amount let's get ready we should not be surprised by where their reinforcements are coming in from we're going to target their infantry formations specifically with quicklime because my god it's so beautiful my artillery is my foot artillery is engaged oh no sorry they're in round shot mode dang it never it oh well Let us take the war to them. So this line will advance. My elites will form a blocking line. I may take my horse grenadiers over onto the right flank. We're in a good position to mop up their gun crews when they are isolated. Here we go. Now the quick climbs doing what we want it to do <laughs> there goes the hit and there goes their general the 42nd regiment are down let's engage the 40th and the 41st the heavy horse artillery continue their current plan which is likely to be counter battery that's good Go for the howitzers with my OP battery. Get my line to run into position because their cavalry is coming because they did not take kindly to that. They may get swamped by... Okay, right. Form your squares. It looks like they're going to be a bit hesitant to pick a position. Oh, good quick climb hits. The mountain troops, well, they're pushing up because they're aware of what's about to happen. You men cease fire because you're just killing my own men. The grenadiers counter charge the 2nd Regiment of Horse. 150th regiment here. Let's see, is this becoming a. No, okay. It's not becoming a recurring problem, my sound electing to not function. Okay, there we go. Okay, the guns are on the move. Where's my lances? Get them over here at speed. My grenadiers back into line. Enemy dragoons. Let's attack. There's not many dragoons, so they are unlikely to be too much of a threat. If the gunners abandon. No, the, the gunners are still a threat. They are just. 
not in a position to do too much damage. Let's pivot my artillery fire. Ooh. First regiment of foot. These formations get out of line, or get out of square rather. Form the new line. You just shatter them. You men assault the guns. As long as these chaps. Yep, yeah, they are shattered also. Form the new line, but it's going to be awfully exposed. All my cavalry go after the horse artillery. Currently sat at the rear of their line. Solidify my right flank just a little bit more. There. Hans Kong Hornet Kong's Princian Regimente looks pretty swish from distance. Excellent. So you men chase down the 24th Regiment. I mean, it's only a matter of time before these fellows break. My foot, my field artillery, halt fire. So they've lost half their number. Foot guards. That's that's a pretty devastating quick climb. Fire. Position. Yeah, they're getting shot at. New men advance. We've got to threaten. Fourth regiment. Then you guys advance. You guys push up to maintain the threat. How it says ceasefire. So it's my grenadiers that are engaging the 4th regiment. I suppose I could hit them with my howitzers. This could go... These poor guys. See, it's the rain that's causing things to be a bit screwed up. Trying to see when I can see. Oh, shells are going to be in the air. There they go. Down to 94 men. If they don't run, yeah, there's going to be more where they came from. But, you yeah, see, yeah, it's so, it's the darnest thing. But there we go. So the forces that have attempted to prevent us from advancing onto their capital have been defeated. And you've pushed. You, if you've pushed north to reinforce the garrison of Finland, you are terribly, terribly mistaken. Finland is being sieged, I grant you. Ooh, Tripoli is very unhappy. So, tune is, this is where you fellas come in. Get to Tripoli and rebuild. Or you should figure out the public order. Why have you stopped? Mena, forward! Robin! Okay, there's one unit that can't get in, but there we go. We brought them back into the fold. Let's repair the sublime porti. Porti, porte. June is, let's put a church school. Begin converting these people. Clearances, clearances, craft workshop. I mean, we've got a lot of... A lot of things we can invest in. Improve our economy. Upgrade the Adriatic coast. Infrastructure and economy position. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So you will upgrade to a governor's mansion. Upgrade the infrastructure. Keep on upgrading, upgrading, upgrading. That's the name of the game. Let's recruit a light galley to hold the port. Yep, max upgrades across the board. So then you fellows can push and secure Sophia. You men hold your position because you are ripe to sail across the sea and invade the Ottomans. God, a lot of ships. Okay, I haven't actually got much money. 
So you okay, keep my rakes pushing. Well, I mean, Sophia. Yeah, the Ottomans don't have much. Don't have much hope. Okay, major industrial upgrades are pretty handy. Across the board, we've got a cool 1,000 left. Let's upgrade the fishery in Santo Domingo. We do have more towns, but they're on their way. Ah, okay, Algiers also has a new town. I should have checked that out already before spending all my money. So there we go. Workers riot in Rumelia. We can expect a rebellion here next turn. You men replenish what you can, but in the in the grand scheme you should be fine. They may break all our buildings, but at least they'll be built next turn. The main thing is Russia. So they, we've got this penetration to the north. I don't want them to have... It's frustrating. But I might pull you chaps back to the bridge. Pull you back to Kalingsberg. Just to prevent them from having an option to cross this bridge and hit Gdansk. And suddenly be, be free to roam in the rear. Whereas now they've still got plenty of strong troops to engage. Soon we will declare on the... Uh, Polish. But until then... Well, I suppose you're quite... You, you're well-placed just to protect against Baghdad. You may advance up the coast and threaten Ankara from the southeast. In which case, then... If you will eventually cross the strait and threaten Ankara from the north and you from the east, you may be in a position to push up to the Russian coast... We will want to build a garrison in Athens, though. One more turn to classic economics. One more turn to machine rifling. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Workers on strike in Brandenburg. Ah, okay, that is a little bit more troubling. Copenhagen send the militia. Workers on strike in Serbia. Well, not anymore. Path blocked. Yeah, it's okay. Successful mission. Yeah, it's okay. Unit recruited cavalry in Bosnia just to boost this. Good. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Let's hit N10. But as soon as we start to open up more avenues of attack against Russia, suddenly their concentration on the Polish border, they will have to spread out to deal with this threat. Oh, they're going to land an army. Yeah, the Ottomans are still a dangerous threat. But they can't seem to make up their mind about where it is they want to attack. But at the very least, we have condensed their movement options such that they have to uh, choose very carefully what they do. And we have to now we don't have to keep chopping up episodes. Ah, they've the, Prus the Russians have witnessed. Ooh, the Russians have witnessed that the Moldavian front has been exposed. But they're going to try and attack. I do hope they make a breach. Well, let's hold them off at Warsaw. I should have rejigged my reinforcements around a bit, potentially, <laughs> to get my infantry up around. But I, in the grand scheme, I, do, I think we're going to be okay. Wherever they make a breach, we will fortify. And we have howitzers that can now fly a quick climb, so we're going to be significantly degrading their forces on the attack. But our main focus, for, well, my main focus is, is Scandinavia. Open up that northern front and take St. Petersburg. That already put the cat amongst the pigeons. We do have a breach to fortify. We have a couple of breaches to fortify. Potentially tricky. Warm up. So first of all, we want drop two units at each breach like this to just 
knock out or just to put down defenses because these defenses at the very least slow down infantry and they also de de destroy cavalry but I think it's possible they may just go straight for this breach uh, this one can fortify <laughs> it looks a lot more thematic grenadiers get inside the house So we've got a few units that we can play around with. I might even... Might... Wait, we may actually end up forego defending walls entirely. Because that's also vulnerable. Let's put something like that... So let's deploy one instead of how it's here they can keep dropping it on this breach and then one in the center that will be a bit more fire support got a lot of cavalry that will get deployed just carefully and a couple of units that are gonna hold some of the other more vulnerable areas Suddenly, this area starts to look a lot more vulnerable. Ooh, dropping their own quick climb on us. Scatter the cavalry. Wait, how are they dropping? We've only got demi cannons. Must be like a misfire. Okay, let's focus on these units that are going around the flank. Because yeah, look, they've got they hold the wall here, but we're not super interested in that. to go for the gate. You men are gonna climb these mercenaries. Get to work on the breach, my friends. going for it. I think some of these men, like you guys, let's see what these guys do. Will they attack the wall? Nope. Okay, let's pull you men back just a tad. Let's bring up a, not a hussar unit. It's really, it's my cuirassier. have to attack the militia. We don't have anyone holding that gatehouse, that's a bit spicy. Two units are going to push around the rear. You're going to actually focus on dropping quick climb. Oh, dangerous, dangerous. I've got the Simonovsky foot guard, though. Pull the infantry back, like so, to try and draw the cavalry into the stakes, especially as, as that's the general's bodyguard. The foot guards are going up. These grenadiers have to abandon the gatehouse and storm. Let's 
say, is that general come straight through into here? I don't think so. Yeah, my, my, so you guys have to cease fire. Still quick climbing the tunnel. Okay, let's get some reinforcements over here. No grenadiers need to get up here. Roy Corps will charge the militia. Oh, they're trying to storm the house. So we're counter storming, but that's going to cause us to lose control of the gatehouse. Get you man up there, we need to take it back. Get my grenadiers down here to attack the militia. New men blast the Nivsky Novgorod troops to our front. Blasting them at close range. Yeah, gatehouse lost. Those are foot guards though, they're very dangerous. Attack those grenadiers. New men make ready. Charge the grenadiers. My grenadiers are doing a sterling job. You men just hammer right here. Oh god, alive. Reload. God damn it, reload. Here comes enemy cavalry. That's what we like to see. Oh, they're starting to break. The enemy grandeurs are broken. Quick climb in the centre. Bring back these infantry. Because there is a enemy unit at play here. You guys just blast them. So got some grenadiers holding firm in the centre. Here comes the cavalry, two by two into the stakes. bit of a gap, not a frustrating gap there for the Hussars to get through, but enough of them will die by the stake. More two by twoing. These men have secured the wall. It's line up from shooting in advance along the walls to attack them. These are my lifeguards engaging the 54th. More cavalry, yes. Okay, so my cavalry needs to quick climb some of these enemy units that haven't yet entered the battlefield. All my infantry up to fly by rank into this block of troops. There we go. So the generals tried to take advantage of their owning, owning of the gatehouse. More cannon fire. Yeah, missed. Got a few there. A few men reload. You can just what, slam fire into those routing men. Reload. She aim at the 54th. Is 
No. Cavalry. Send these Frocor into the battlefield. Send my Grenadiers up here. I need to push them into the battlefield until they rout. You men form this blocking group. You men advance here and fill that hole. These two units push up like so. We've chased away the gorillas. Killed an enemy general. The grenadiers attack their foot guards in the rear. Here comes the enemy. Engage the 44th. Fire! Going into the center against my garrisoned Freikorps. Yeah, that's more Russian infantry routing. Excellent job. Guns in the center. Hit the 46, the guns off to the side, hit the 34th. And more cavalry support. There we go, now we've got the foot guards on the run. They look brilliant. They're surrounded. Lifeguard are doing a good job there. New men advance over to give the lifeguard some support. Oh, some Cossacks. Where's some more cavalry? Get them over here. Unsurprisingly, my grenadiers are wavering at the sight of so many mighty Russian foes. They will fight till the end, and then they will withdraw. Blast them! Some good kills. Their officer's still alive. Oh, men all around him are falling, but not him himself. So you, that's a, oh, you're aiming at units that have already fled. Here comes their reinforcements. Three pounder horse artillery will eventually peck their way in, but keep fighting the foot guards. Eventually, they will get pushed back. There's only two grenadiers left fighting. If they died fighting, that would be. Not perfect, but manageable. Actually, gun in the center, you can focus on hitting that regiment of demi cannons. These guns hit can hit the Artar perfectly with quick line. Grenadier unit has fallen. I think it's time to pull U troops across. Yeah, I number their foot guards two to one. Good hits. actually get involved. We're about to see sustained combat over the center here. Eventually, hopefully we take the gate, we take the gatehouse from the Russians. So my Q 
accuracy here. Get them over here. Cavalry is really good at bunging up a breach. Second light horse. Well, you can see what's going to happen to them. My cavalry's on the way, though. No, okay. Why don't we go this way? <laughs> Oh no, same problem. Get over here, secure that gate. Perfect, get this cavalry over here. Get this infantry over here, I should say. There we go, the doors are closed. So now all their cavalry that's split up will have to go around the front. These fellows are all trapped. Expat, line infantry, expat, engineers. Dragoons that have dismounted. Can you switch to round shot, bombard the general. Who is bug to high heaven? You will go for that unit there. Shot that man down from his horse. Perfect. Yeah, these. Howitzers evade the combat. You will go after those gunners. You men storm into this building. The Russians will not take it. Building lost. House. Yeah, well, don't be so sure of that. Hits. Okay, this one's going to focus on the breach. Excellent. Get my cavalry to pull back. Just to get the door to close and hopefully to get some of these Russian cavalry to hit my square. This is bugged, clearly. Shouldn't have 225 men in a general bodyguard, but I'll take it. Excellent, the Russians are destroyed here. Let's pull that infantry unit out wide. Pull that Cossack unit out. You men attack these same Cossacks that are scaling the wall. You attacked uh, the Hossa Hussar unit that tried to scale the wall here. Charge the Cossacks. Second unit of Cossacks coming up. Oh, engineers coming up over the top. So who is over here? Okay, well then my cavalry is going to go for you. These men scale the walls to fight the Cossacks. These men will hold this position. Yeah, that's right, you you should be very upset. You hit these dragoons on the way. 
got a volley off their carbines. They downed three members of my cavalry brigade, pretty much. Oh yeah! Slicing them open. So many dead dragoons. <laughs> I understand why you did it. You're more useful on foot with so much entrenchment. But my god. Charge the engineers. You men secure the front. The enemy's falling back on all sides. Ride out and meet them head on. We're going to clear out their guns. This is why you have reinforcement armies. <laughs> Storm up the wall. The cavalry is going to intercept the general's bodyguard. Huzzah! One of the most perfect units that we could have got on the field to join us. Curacy Air. Bring back the cavalry. If they want to hit the 67th, they will. No, you men. Charge the engineers. Quick. The 45th have only 60 men have died before I gave the order. And now they're being attacked from the rear. Hit the 67th. 108th of routing. Defeat the enemy general's bodyguard. See, the morale is so strong for defending units. Cease fire of the artillery. I believe that is the enemy attackers broken. Fortunately, that was them. We killed their general, not they killed ours the last second. But that's pretty awesome. Pretty darn awesome. Lost a lot of men. Good men. But that's done enough damage. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay, okay, it needs to be like this. So the very last thing we need is artillery. Okay, there's a couple of ways. We, okay, okay, okay. We can we can figure this out. We can figure this out. <laughs> Basically, abandon defending the walls entirely. Uh, defend the square and uh, bring in our supporting, supporting infantry as quickly as possible. And our weakest units deploy out front so that they... F well, no, don't deploy out front, per se. So they came from that way. So we've got the same breaches as before. But yes, we are abandoning the abandoning the walls so these weak units you're not going to do nothing you're going to deploy an interlocking web of stakes 
just to do as much damage as is possible. Okay, so you guys have all deployed. You are my weakest units. My cavalry may deploy on a suicide charge. Garrison infantry format. You can't form up with anything. You can form up with trenches, demi cannons. Nah, you have, you're going to stay unlimbered without fortifications. We need to keep keep our artillery safe. Make sure your fire at will is off. That's enough people to defend that breach. That's a potential breach. So let's get ready. Okay, you've not deployed with anything. They might just run around us, and that's a distinct possibility. So we're going to deploy one set like this to kind of do damage, depending on where they go. That'll still be okay. Now it says deploy in the center and do work. A set of guns is going to hold for re as a reserve. Okay, what's the best way to use this cavalry? See, the part of the danger is all of this militia. I might try and do. Thread the needle, go for their guns. These men, I don't want to lose them, but I'm going to have to sacrifice them. Keep going. Don't get stopped. Do not stop. You cannot stop. Go for their artillery at all costs. Okay, arm citizenry. Get up on the wall. You men, get up onto this section of wall you men just hold the line it's the enemy artillery defeated you men bayonet charge the 100th regiment howitzers try and clean up some of these men that are going around the flank you're useful for, to be deployed elsewhere you may deploy up here take as many of them as you can with you same with my artillery with my cavalry losing my cavalry is a viable option <laughs> good block of militia dealt with. Part of the reason why I, dis I don't dislike militia, but why I'm sufficiently afraid of it is because they they just come on like a swarm like this, and then you can't get your massed firepower down. My cavalry will do enough, as much damage as they can. There's a limit. It's 16th Regiment of cavalry coming in okay you don't need to be there okay they might actually be coming in through or want to come in through here so where's my reserve demi cannons deploy them here yeah 
Where are you going to go, cavalry? Look at all this, look how much holding up we're doing here. Flee, flee for your lives. Quick line, focus fire that block, because that needs to be thinned out rapidly. Enforcements are here. They will be here. They're coming in from an okay direction too. There goes the quick climb. Drop it here, both here, because they want to go through these underground sections. Just hold on, hold on. Do whatever you can to hold on. Mast quick climb is going to be doing some real work here. No, nope. one man got to your guns. Oh, good hits. Unlimber the guns. Fire it all off. Third 21st foot guards going down. We've got militia, they're going to try and take the walls, which is going to be a bit of a bummer. There's these gun crews. Get these gun crews back. They are electing not to take that component, that section of wall. Come on, General, get in there and get them. Get the militia over here. Help fight the Cossacks. I mean, look at all these, all these bodies from that massed quicklime fire. Get you men over here as well. You men keep running because we are making, making headway. Okay, you go to the front. Actually, no, you come up here to fight the combat to the death. Or charge out the gate and attack them, whatever, same difference. Still okay. You're gonna have to push up and engage in combat. Okay, you don't really understand how to charge properly. But we're starting to see some reinforcements. Are you men charge into the rear of the militia? More good hits. Fight! Fight to the last man! Fight for your lives! Your job is to scale the wall after them. Okay, that militia unit's wavering. More quick climb. 
Good stuff. Okay, right. Quick climb, fire. Focus on these units back here. Not at the front. Because the front is secure. Warm up. Excellent. Look at all that quick climb, just because the AI just went, I am going to get through that breach. You went, no, you are not. So many men. Just as the reinforcements show up. There you go, so my men are counter-invading the Cossacks. Militia are in on the flank. Phew. Who's this coming in now? Regiment and uh, regiment of foot. I'm just getting lashed by musket fire because my lines are ready. They're ready and they're formed. you go, devils. Okay, where's my line infantry guards? Come up here to bolster the attack. Because these Cossacks are sturdy. You men charge in as well. Brave Bavarians, one and all. There's their drummer. Understandably, they're now wavering because they are aware that oh, things are things are changing. Quick climb, folks, on the dragoons because the last unit on the field is the enemy general's bodyguard. So these reinforcements are going to advance to do battle. Attack them, they've got nowhere to go. We're coming up the very ladders they used to attack. Even though it says X, sometimes when you're using giving units to multiple orders to multiple units on the wall, they don't ever care that much. Sweet. But because this is gonna take a bit of time to bring into there we go. <laughs> We have held it for a second time. Can we hold it for a third if there is one? <laughs> no, I think they're too scattered. Oh, no, I didn't say it. Oof. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Oh, God. Okay, we need to reinforce Poland rapidly. Oh, and the garrison of Swin Finland is sallying. Looking at the timer, we're a bit short, but to be honest, those last two battles have taken it out of me. <laughs> I need a bit of a break. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the Sally at Finland. And well, we need to fortify our front line in Poland. Double quick. See you next time, everyone.